Manchester United 1, Sevilla 2, United crashing out of Europe absolutely horrendously and embarrassingly, to be honest with you. That United side, uh, that if you'd shown people, if you take the United performance from tonight and the performance from Saturday, or the one against Crystal Palace, the one against Chelsea, you would think they're two different teams. That United team turned up tonight thinking they were, they'd won the game before it kicked off. They went out listening to everybody before the game saying that it was going to be a formality, it was going to, United were going to turn up, win 2-3-0 and that was it, job done. When you're in this stage of the Champions League, it, 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 whether, don't get me wrong, United should be beating Sevilla, they should be, but you have to go out there and you have to actually apply yourself. The United players didn't, they didn't look like they wanted to be there. They looked like they thought, right, we'll turn up to work. And we'll we'll you know we'll just go in we'll we'll work we'll put a half hour effort in and we'll finish up work and we'll go for a few pints. That's what it looked like. It looked like office workers turning up after a long week on a Friday, just wanting to go in, get it over with, and go out and have a few pints after. An absolutely shocking performance from United. Maybe Eric Bailly gets past marks. He did well at the back. Lukaku, God bless him, he tried. Um, should have scored before he actually did. Um, but again, he was just starved of service, starved, well, not even just service, starved of support. Um, but that whole that whole team should really, really take a long, hard look at themselves. Again, the need to invest in the defence comes back to haunt us. First goal conceded, Valencia. Valencia's been solid. Valencia's been solid for United. But when you're in the Champions League, when you're wanting to get... Far in the Champions League, you need better than solid at the back. You can't have two failed wingers. No matter what people can say, oh, they're converted into fullbacks. They're failed wingers. That's that's it. If they were good enough to play on the wings, they would be. But him and Valencia and Young, both failed wingers, and it showed with the quality tonight. Um, and quite frankly, I'm quite happy that United have been put out by Sevilla. Because if that's the way they were going to play in the Champions League then it would have been a cricket score. We'd have been humiliated, absolutely humiliated, if we came up against Real Madrid or a Barcelona or a Bayern Munich. Because that is just not good enough. None of those players turned up tonight. Sanchez, again, trying, 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 but the, he just he seems to be lacking a bit of quality. Lingard, he's usually a big game player, but he did nothing tonight. He was so poor. Rashford, again, you get people criticising Mourinho for not playing him. He started against Liverpool, had a great game, and he starts today. Where's the consistency? He's not consistent. He did nothing tonight. He did nothing at all. Sanchez played a great ball, isolated him one-on-one -on -one with the defender, and he puts a cross. Instead of running at the boy in the middle of the box, he sticks a cross into the stands. When Lukaku was in the box with five men around him, instead of thinking, I'll have a run at this, this, this defender, maybe force him into a challenge, win a corner, have a wee shot. No. He just There's no consistency from Rashford. That's why... That's why Mourinho doesn't start him every game. One player should be starting every single game. Juan Mata. That game was crying out for Mata. Just somebody with a bit of brains. He should have been brought on instead of Pogba. He, we, I was sitting at home cr screaming, from, get Mata on, get Mata on. He's, the, he's the, the, the only United player with the composure, the ability, and the... He's the only United player with the composure, the ability... And the vision to, to to make that pass. And United always look a better team when Matt is in there. And he just, we missed him badly tonight. Matic didn't look anything, anywhere near what he's looked like all season. Probably his worst game as a United player. And it's, he's played nearly every game. And he's what, coming up to 30. But he's still far too weak for their first goal. And... I've seen De Gea getting a wee bit of stick online for for the second goal, but I don't think there's much De Gea can do about that. United were just shambolic. They they looked like they they hadn't recovered from the first goal, and they didn't. And it's just Mourinho brought on Martial, he brought on Mata, but it was too little, too late. Um, United lost that game when Fellaini went off. United as soon as Fellaini went off, United lost control of the midfield. Um, Pogba didn't look fit when he came on. But I still think Mourinho, even if he wanted to bring on Pogba, that's fine. But I think he should have sacrificed either Lingard or Rashford. Because Lingard wasn't in the game at all. Fellaini was winning the ball. He was winning a high up. And if if somebody went past him, then they were down. It was a free kick. 
that's what United needed. United, Fellaini probably got past Marks as well. United needed more players like that who just wanted a bit of fight. But tonight was just absolutely shambolic. United now have one game to save our season, and that's Brighton. Because no matter what anybody says, oh, we could finish second in the league, that's nothing. That's not a good season for United. Finishing second, 16 points behind City. It's finishing second. Oh, well, we beat Liverpool, we finished above Liverpool, we finished above the rest. Not good enough. Especially considering we got knocked out of out of the League Cup against Bristol City in the Champions League against Sevilla. This United team has shown... We're showing fight this season. We're showing fight, but we're needing to show it more often. Rio Ferdinand said in the post-match analysis that this United team lacks consistency. And that's why they're not a top side. Very true. This United side is so inconsistent. It's frustrating as a fan. They just... They, they, they are trying to pick and choose when to turn up. But they, they, they're not good enough to be able to just switch it on like, like Real Madrid can. Um, and it's just, it's it's bad. If United had got to the semi-finals, quarter-finals, semi-finals of the Champions League, and then and finished second with no trophies, then you can say maybe it's a successful season. But United now, they absolutely have to win the FA Cup. Have to win the FA Cup. And they 